Well, it's time for our co-feature, and it should be a good one. Junto Nakatani, the WBO World Flyweight Champion, taking on Ryota Yamauchi. <laughs> Junto Nakatani, one of the most exciting young fighters in the sport. Ryota Yamauchi, a top 10 flyweight. Challenging for a world title for the first time in just his 10th professional fight. Round one, see Nakatani, the tall southpaw in the white trunks trimmed with yellow. Yamauchi in the white trunks trimmed with red. Two of the more handsome boxers that you'll see. Fighting. <laughs> Hard jab there from Nakatani. I think he's best described as a, a pressure puncher. He likes to provide spatial pressure, physical pressure, but he's looking to land big shots. He's not a volume puncher by any means. No, no, no. When he throws, he throws with bad intentions. You know, he wants to do damage with both hands. Um, but he, he opens himself up quite a bit when he does get in front of a guy. And it, and with, a, with a puncher like Nakatani, it, that's very dangerous. Oh, good hard left hand next there from Nakatani. Impressive. Ooh. Hard left hand, and that one buckled Yamauchi, who is holding on here with 20 seconds remaining in the opening round. Beautiful straight left hand, like I said, threading the needle, splitting the guard of Yamauchi. And you saw the reaction. Oh, big right uppercut connects from Nakatani. Yamauchi buzzed at the end of the opening round. Yeah, here we see Nakatani using that that lead right hand to set up the left hand down the middle. Blind you with the right, throws the left hand down the middle. Here we see him switching it up to the lead right hand uppercut, which lands flush on the side of the head of Yamauchi. Hard left hand connects again from Nakatani. Straight left immediately after an uppercut connected as well. Great job of mixing up his punches. That one had an effect as well. staggered once again. He is on wobbly legs and he holds on for the third time in this fight. And I like what Yankatani is doing there. He's, he's not letting him hold. He's, he's making it hard for him. Being aggressive on the inside, using his physical size and strength. Yamauchi has not been able to get started at all. He is just being peppered with shots. There's a decent left hook from Yamauchi. You can just tell Nakatani, he believes in his power so much. Nakatani said that he knows that many people will be seeing him for the first time, and he wants to give them a knockout in this fight. Off to a pretty good start. He's come close a couple of times already, and we're not even through round two. And I like how he hasn't been getting excited. He's just doing the work. He believes in his power. He knows when he gets there, he'll it'll, it'll do the job. Yamauchi just out of position and eating uppercuts right now. Great physicality from Nakatani there. Oh, there's that left hand again. Right down the pipe from Nakatani. He cannot miss. And now there's those uppercuts. That has been his bread and butter. Here we see the looping left hand lands high in the head of Yamauchi. That buzzed his legs as well. I had mentioned it earlier, Nakatani does a great job of mixing up that left hand. It's not just the straight one, two down the middle. He throws it over the top. He comes up the middle with it. There it is, straight down the middle again. It's not often that you see a fighter look like that after two rounds, but that's exactly what Junto Nakatani can do to fighters. The WPO flyweight champion putting on a show here in our co-feature. It's a testament to the power of Nakatani. You know, it's real. Anyone who's had a broken nose in a fight knows that an uppercut <laughs> is the last thing you want to get it with. 
Gucci on the inside a little bit. This is what Gamalucci needs to do. He needs to, he needs to go for broke. I mean, that, that's his style anyway. He just needs to bully his way in and let his hands go, because otherwise he's just going to get picked apart from the outside. Good, good right hand from Gamalucci. Oh, good shot from shot there from Yamauchi a moment ago as well. Oh, hard left hand right down the middle. Another one comes behind it with an uppercut. Yamauchi tries to fire back with the left hook. You can see Yamauchi, he's, he's got some heavy hands. You know, even, even the, that shot that was partially blocked by Nakatani, you saw it, it did carry power. That lead right hand from Nakatani is dangerous, man. He slips on the outside, pulls that thing up from nowhere. Very Nakatani just willingly going to the inside. Good combination there from Yamauchi. Letting both hands go, head and body. I'd like to see more of that. Continued to be match tough, worked his way into the top 10 in the division. Finds himself in a world title fight just a, against a, a nightmare of a physical matchup for anyone at 112. Oh yeah, I mean, he, he is a freak of nature to be this big and this strong. If I were Nakatani, I wouldn't have changed a thing. I would have just kept doing what I'm doing, let that face fall apart more and more. Get the win, get the stoppage. Flurry on the inside there from Nakatani. This is over the top with a big left hand, but the punches just keep on coming right to the bell. Getting a look uh, at a fighter in Nakatani, who I'm sure many people have seen clips of. I'm sure they've read about him, but there's a portion of our audience here today who's uh, getting a chance to watch him live for the very first time. And according to him, this could be the last time he fights at 112 pounds, depending on what opportunities there are for him out there. Doubling up on that left hand, now a one-two right down the middle. Yeah, I, I think he's starting to close in on it. All right, if I can just let my hands go, let these combinations fly, maybe we can get a stoppage here. Final 40 seconds of round six. Maybe another opportunity for Yamauchi to work. It's a left hook downstairs. Nakatani trying to apply with uppercuts through the middle. Yeah. Now this is approaching one of those situations where the corner should be looking really closely in at their man. I mean, he, he doesn't seem to be mustering up much of an offense. He's not putting himself in a position to win the fight. And he has certainly lost every round so far. He's already in knockout territory, but he's not really throwing his hands. Well, and there's no blood flowing, but the, the face of Yamauchi is just growing more and more grotesque as the rounds go on. Well, there's blood flowing, but it's not on the outside. Right. It's underneath all that skin, and that's why we're seeing all that grotesque swelling and disfigurement. Boom, and we see that. That was that. I, I keep speaking about the, the variety of punches that Nakatani throws, and that was a perfect example right there. He, he changed the left hand to an overhand left, came up with the right uppercut. Here we see the straight left, which has been razor accurate all night long. And that's really... So Ryota Yamauchi will indeed come out for round A. Didn't seem to be from the, the brief look that we got, any discussion nope. about pulling him out of this fight. Didn't seem any hes hes hesitation there from him or his corner, which I'm not surprised. I mean, uh, Japanese fighters are, are historically very, very tough. Rather glad on the show. Ooh, good right hand there from Yamauchi. Terrific right hand from Yamauchi, and he comes behind it with a left hook. Nakatani took that well. You know, that, that's been a question in my mind about Nakatani. What's going to happen when he does get cracked by someone who can really punch? How is he going to react? Took that one quite well. well. 
it, it's tough to track where they're coming from. Yeah. Because of how tall he is and because of the, the plane of some of these punches, the uppercuts are coming through the middle and you don't see them before they land. You know, it, it's, it's Nekatani's fluidity, where right. the punches are coming from. Like you said, you know, uh, granted he's got that incredible wingspan and, and height and he changes his levels really well, but it's also he's so fluid with the way he lets those punches go. It's natural. Almost like someone who's been doing this since they were 14 years old in their high school. <laughs> a little dip in the knees Ooh. from Yamauchi a moment ago, and oh, now yeah. he is in big time trouble. Nakatani pouring it on, and that is it. Yeah, good, good, good stoppage. We hadn't seen Yamauchi hurt like that since the early rounds. He, like I said, his punch resistance was getting better. He was being less surprised, but you know that that few a lot of punches there was 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 plenty. We didn't need to see any more. An absolute offensive masterpiece from Junto Nakatani. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 20 seconds of the eighth round. On advice of the corner, Ryota Yamaguchi's corner stops this contest for your winner by technical knockout and still the WBO flyweight champion of the world, Junto Nakatani.